Let's click on new game. Right, player name. Crikey. How about Jeff? Nationality. German. Uh, well, we'd have to change his name then to Z Jeff. <laughs> where do we want to? Where do we want to come from? Let's come from. Uh, How about Norway? Can we come from Russia? That sounds fun. Heavy F, thanks for nine months. So I'm going to spend 10 minutes now just trying to pick pick my name and customize my character. How about um, Cameroon or somewhere like that? Cameroon. There we go. And we'll be uh, Jeff Ongo. Will be Jeff Ongo from Cameroon. There we go. No, it's not. You don't spell Jeff like that. It's a rubbish spelling with a G. It's with a J. Avatar spot on. Hang on, we haven't got there yet. Age 35. Hang on. Jeff Ongo's... Jeff Ongo's in his mid-40s. Yeah. That's not a Jeff Ongo. No. Now, I need more choice, really, don't I? Unless his, I, unless his credentials are not real. I think... Well, <laughs> Jeff Ongo from Cameroon <laughs> is actually a white female catfishing <laughs> into a company. <laughs> I was expecting more, more avatars than that. Daniel White, thank you for 67 months. <laughs> company... <laughs> Oh, God. This is going so well. Uh, that looks like the sunset in Cameroon, so we'll go with that. Um, <clears throat> hmm. Starting location. Oh, my God. Berlin. Can we start in Cologne? It's nice. Can we not start in Cologne? I like Cologne. Let's we'll start there. Select company name. Um, how about sunset? No, hang on. It's got to be, hmm. Munich is closest to Cameroon. I don't care. I don't have a nut as transport. Come on. This guy's from Cameroon. This woman, Jeff Ongo. The good thing about Jeff Ongo's name is it's kind of genderless in a way you'd never really guess <laughs> cowfish hauling <laughs> yeah it's, Yaris I would you know let's wait and see if it's ETS on, on rails camera rail that's not bad Cameroon cargo catfish there's a lot of seas going on there Quite like, quite like camera rail. It's not bad, actually. Uh, synesthesia of AOC. Drop in 10 subs. Thank you so very much. Can we get some squirrel gift in chat for synesthesia? Thank you very much for your support. And if you got a sub, please give synesthesia a massive thank you for the sub gifted to you. And the same with Coffin Dodger, who just dropped another three. My. you. Speaking of trains, level four hype train. Thank you so much, Coffin Dodger. Uh, train Maroon Haulers. Hmm. Call it Nigerian Prince. <laughs> what? So we're from Cameroon, but we... <laughs> Nigerian Railways. <laughs> that's, that's the way to throw everybody off the scent, that is. Wait, but your company's Nigerian Railways, but you say you're from Cameroon. <laughs> well, it's a long story. <laughs> Clinton, thank you for 15 months. <laughs> Career options. Hang on, what's all this about? Default, easy, hard, and extreme. Missing string table entry. Let's just, oh, what? 
what? I clicked the back button and it went back to the main screen. Oh, it's all right. It's remembered it. I thought for a minute it had thrown it. All right, tutorial. Yeah, let's go. Welcome to Train Life in Europe, Engineer. As you near your graduation of the conductor's exam, we commend you on your dream of starting your own railway transportation business. Before you graduate, we just need one final example of what you know, and some time behind the throttle won't hurt. After all, as an aspiring employer, it's best to be a shining example for your future employees. We have set up this short course in Germany for you to refresh your skills and show us what you've learned. Start by familiarizing yourself with the locomotive's controls. Then follow the instructions through the next few scenarios, and you'll be off on your own in no time at all. Take your time, but try not to derail the train. Management will have my head of a fresh graduate Rexar training locomotive. First impressions of the graphics are actually quite good. <laughs> Can I look around? That's pretty decent, right? Uh, right, what are we doing? Tutorial train control. Use the mouse wheel to zoom the camera in and out. Ooh, ooh. Open in tablet view. Is that tablet view? Uh oh. CC close to level enough. Hmm. Okay. Toggle the headlights on and off using T. T. T for lights okay that's easy to remember t for torch there we go toggle the cab lights on and off oh why is that all over the chat look at that it's literally in the same place as chat uh toggle the cab lights on and off by selecting change cabin lights from the radial menu left shift or by holding g change headlights change camera couple decouple Change cabin lights, cycle wipers, turn radio on and off. All right. Mm -hmm. Now, I quite like the radio menu. That's useful. Turn off the emergency brakes using the space key. Okay. Use W to increase the throttle one step and drive until your train has a speed of 20 Ks. Miller Gendra, thank you for 69 months. Battery H, thank you for 55. Thank you for nearly five years, sir. Ben L, half a year. Kames, three years. Clinton Chives for 15 months, thank you. T's for tea lights, okay. Uh, use E to increase the brake throttle at least one step and slow to zero. That. Once you've stopped, you can use D again to lower the brake step to zero. Whoa, CHR1117. Another 10 subs. Guys, you're so generous today. Thank you, CHR. Welcome, guys. If you got a sub, please give me a thank you. Press R once again while completely, while completely stopped to toggle the reverser. Okay. There's the reverser down there. You can your throttle again using W until your train reaches 20 in reverse. Okay. You see, I think the brake is still on. Is that E? How do, how do I... There you go, D. Okay, I see what it's doing. E and D for break, okay. I see what it's doing. It's very quiet in here, isn't it? There's 20. <laughs> Welcome, Cory. It's not telling me what else to do. It just says, go until you reach 20. Toggle your emergency brakes now using space. Note how the 
brake affects change durability. Durability on a train? Now there's a new one. Toggle your reverser by using the R while stopped. Okay. Toggle the railroad switch direction with Q to take the right track instead of the left. Okay, why will that... Ah. So bot at bottom left, it says left and right, 121 meters, and it's obviously referring to that right down there. So let's take the right option. Okay. Increase your throttle a little to drive through any switch. Feel free to play around with the changing the direction and driving through them, even in reverse. Okay. Sunday dinner, death row. Where, are you, where do you live? Having dinner already. I'm curious as to what's going to happen here. Oh, I see. Does it want me to stop here? There we go. You see, you can cycle through gameplay cameras at least once until you get to the cabin view. Front view. Shoulder view. Top view. Cab view. Look around to identify the throttle lever and increase it at least one step by holding the left mouse button and pressing mouse wheel. Okay, that's not really working. Well, I can drag it, but it, the mouse wheel thing wasn't working. Now do the same with the brake and increase it to slow the train down. I mean, I can physically drag it, but the whole hold the left mouse button and mouse wheel, that wasn't happening. Train control done. Um, next. Drive forward to the service center and press F to enter it. Okay, I can see the brakes are on, so we'll do that. We need to put the reverser into forward, which I think it is. Lights are already on. Hang on. Oh, it's got wipers. Can we open windows? Come by game. Those wipers look pretty good, actually. I want to see what the rain looks like. Oh, what a cool little shunter. Look at that. FPS wise, this is like butter. I'm doing 100 FPS right now. So that's encouraging. <laughs> no squeaky windows on playable. Uninstall. Ask for a refund. Drive forward to the service center and press F to enter it. Okay, where's the service center? And it's my signal the right way because it's taking me left at the moment. I'm not sure if I want to go left. Oh god, we're going downhill. Um, break. Flipping out, you can... Okay, break! <laughs> We're not slowing down very quickly. <laughs> Blimey. You can really feel the weight of the train coming down that hill. I don't know if we're going the right way, though. I've got a feeling I should have changed, changed the um, point back there. Like, is this in the service center? No. 
don't know. Or is that, oh, is that the service center in the hangar at the end? Expand your view in the circle, what do you mean? I'm not sure what you mean. Looks like we just have to park in that green bit and then... Uh, your map on the left. How? Hang on. Like a glove. Press F. Ooh. Service center Tiendorf. I don't know how you say that. We have 100,000 euros. Fix 10%. Fix all for 24 grand. Train condition. Is that like that much worn out or that much worn out? That much left? How does that work? Navigate to repair and refuel tabs to repair and refuel your locomotive. Oh my god. I thought the trip to Tesco was expensive. 15,750 euros. <laughs> now I understand why they charge you 30 quid to go to Chelmsford on the train. <laughs> 24 grand. 24 grand? Look at that. We just shelled out 40 grand. Locate the reverse train direction button and press it. Okay. Drive along the route and stop in front of the sign signal combo inside the highlighted green area. Take note of the signs and signals indicating changes in speed or upcoming railway features. Observe how the left-hand track is occupied by a broken-down locomotive and is therefore blocked. Tech Tiger, thank you for 22 months. Uh, back to game. Drive along the routes and stop in front of the sign signal combo inside the highlighted green area. Or oh, this thing here. Oh, I pressed F. I pressed the wrong key. I should have pressed... No, wait a minute. Which key should I have pressed? Has it reversed me round again? I don't know which... <laughs> I don't know which way I need to point now. Dang it! <laughs> Reverse. That's better. Yeah, I noticed the brakes run. I'm trying to remember the hotkeys. Is it D? There we go. It was D. E and D. It's like my head is stuck in the Train Sim World hotkeys, which are completely different. I can see the uh, signs up ahead with a flashing amber. Drive along the route and stop in front of the sign signal combo inside the highlighted green area. How do we how do we zoom the map? I don't seem to have an option for that. Oh I got wheel slip then, did you see that? I might have to move my uh, camera a little bit. One sec. Maybe if I just sit here, that might help you see the controls. So when I accel look at the um, the, the rightmost thing here, when I accelerate, see that wheel's there? It's right now, I've no idea where we're going.
40 and 30. How come we've got 100,000 euros again? I thought we spent 40,000. We're meant to be crossing over. I'm going to I'm going to switch it to the right because it said there's something blocking the left. So I'm going to go I'm going to keep right. Tuscan, thank you 53. Do you know what? The skybox is is half decent as well. I've give it some juice up here, aren't we? I know it was it picked up a lot of speed when it was coming down. Oh my god. Seventy percent power? It's not even pulling anything? Yeah, it said the track is blocked on the left. The left-hand track is occupied by a broken-down locomotive, so I've kept on the right for that reason. I'm, I'm kind of hoping the objective is up here, but quite frankly, I have no idea. Now we're picking up speed. You can already feel like the weight difference when you go on up and down an incline. Like, it's really obvious. Get some braking action going. Oh, there you go. There's the objective. Stop in front of the sign signal combo inside the highlighted green area. Do it. Uh, divert around the broken locomotive by changing the switch direction. Make sure the switch direction is set to right and drive past the broken. Well, that is set to right, isn't it? Approaching train has been spotted. Okay. I get 53 months, Tuscan. We haven't even done like coupling up to stuff yet. Continue driving until you reach the service center. Okay. Look at those trucks. Look how detailed they are. Oh, it's doing 100 FPS right now, so... I mean, bear in mind, it's a sunny day. Don't know if it has any weather. Yeah, 
Is it H for horn, do you think? Oh. I don't see it. Oh, there's a green marker. PJ, thank you for 31. No, it is definitely Unreal Engine. Scenario complete. Why is Mrs. Squall not answering me? In this tutorial, you will learn how to deliver a contract from one station to another. Firstly, you need to select a contract from the nearest station. You can use the radio for communicating with stations. Open it with A. You see, I really, really like the idea of a train sim game with contracts. I really like that idea. Bandita Slayer, thank you for 52 months. It's the freedom to get in the world and just do stuff. Right, we need to press A. Query nearby, nearby stations. The nearest station is a forest. Forests produce logs that can be transported to a sawmill. Oh my god, I'm getting snow runner vibes. Select the forest station from the list. You can control the radio keys with one to see. Okay, press one. Uh, proceed to services. Take contract. Select the only available contracts and finally choose take automatically. Back to available station. There's query information. And services. Services. Station access. Deliver. Okay. Take contract. You. Forest Salzgitter 6SG6 here. What contracts are available for taking? Over. Forest here. I have one contract. Which are you interested in? <laughs> Wait, what? You've got one. <laughs> do you want contract one or do you want contract one? I think I'll have one. Three wagons to the sawmill. Select the only available contract and finally choose take automatically. It's the contract for taking three wagons of logs. Destination is sawmill, which is 37.387 kilometers away. Those seven meters are important. The reward is 1,000. Peanuts. Do you want to take it? Take automatically. Notice how the dwarf signal that guards the station entrance changed to the green color. Wait, no, 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 I missed that. Where's that then? The dwarf signal that guards the entrance changed to a green color. No, I didn't see that. Now proceed to the station. Stop when the coupling decoupling zone icon, the one with the two wagons under the speedometer, activates. I'm sure this is a lot easier than it sounds right now. <laughs> okay. Back to station. Do I just go or do I have to sort of... Hey, ferret. It's not, it's not dwarf. It's, it's pups. It's a pup signal. It's a little bit smaller. That's all it means. Do I need to go right or left? Because I don't know which way we're going. <laughs> Sorry, pups. I don't know if we need to keep left or what. Can't see. Does anybody see any wagons down there? Oh well, we'll keep left. Quite generous speed limits, considering. Normally when you're shunting, they're like 10Ks or something. Oh, finally Mrs. Squirrels replied. <laughs> Bandida, thank you for 52 months. If I didn't already say so, thank you. He was looking for wabbits. I still don't see any wagons. Coupling pickup. Initiate coupling from the radial menu or by pressing U. U. What does U mean? I 
I don't see any wagons. Hang on, there's a there's a weird symbol there. You see it? Maybe we have to go inside. Maybe we have to go inside that thing. You selected take automatically, I think, means you just need to stop in the area. Ah, right. So as opposed to manually couple, that would make sense. Get rid of the radio. Hey, there we go. One with the green, the one with the two wagons under the speedometer. I hope this is right. See, this looks like the service yard to me. This does. This doesn't seem right. This, yeah, this is the service centre. We've 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 gone too far here, boys. Something not right. Something is not right. Perform coupling with you to take the contracted wagons. Use the service sensor to turn the train around. Wow, I'm calling hacks on that. Surely you should be turning around and then hooking up the wagons. Reverse train. There you go. That's how, that's how you roll. Easy mode, boys. Easy mode. <laughs> that is cheating. That feels like cheating. Because I was thinking about this, like, how are we going to turn around? It should have made you turn around and then put the wagons on. Right, where are we going? Use the service sensor to turn the train around and drive straight to the sawmill. Which we have no idea where it is. Well, this is only a tutorial. Maybe later you have to do things like turn it around. I don't know. I really want to open the windows, though. Now, do we keep left or keep right? <clears throat> we don't know where the sawmill is. We don't have a map. We do have a map. Look at that. If you press the M key, we have a map. It's not told me to do this. Right, so we need to keep right, and then we need to go left. So we'll change that to right. It literally never told me about the map. <laughs> I think that's fast enough, considering what we've got here. I've already got my cup of tea in the cab. Oh, yeah. Oh, no, it's a coffee. That's definitely a coffee. Oh, I just blasted through something possibly important. Oh, well. I think there were the signs telling you which way was which. I'm not sure. Uh, you got your morning workout in the row machine, Xavier. You, en you enjoy. I'll sit here and do nothing. You feel free to row. Adenar and thank you for 33 months. All right, let's, let's build up the speed a bit. I think we're about to go up an incline, so we probably should build up the speed quite a bit. I wish the engine audio was a little bit louder. What's the symbol? 250. You no longer have access to the forest. Why not? My band? 
Yes, I've played motorways. I've got it. It's a fun game. Oh my god, that incline. Holy smoke. I'm gonna keep... <laughs> Hang on. Waking up a bit of speed here. I've just noticed they lowered the speed limit. Uh-oh. I thought that was something in the track then. They changed the speed limit on me. Uh, I have seen railway, railways online. I haven't looked at it yet, though. Thank you, career. Use the radio again to announce your arrival to the sawmill station. Sawmill services deliver... Deliver contract. Three wagons from Forest. And then deliver manually. Okay. We're going to do it manual. Proceed to the station, then to the indicated track. Stop when the coupling, coupling icon, the one with the two wagons under the speedometer activates. Okay. I think we're going to have to signal left here shortly. Sixty-four player multiplayer. Yeah, we might, we might have to look at it explode. I've, I haven't tried it at all yet. S is for sugar. Right. Right. We want to go left. We definitely want to go left. I think. I think we want to go left. I don't know. I don't know what the key is for the horn. It didn't even tell me about the map. That's a weird looking tracks layout in the sawmill. It's cool though, so you can loop around and go back the other way. Right, which way do you want me to go? It's not giving me any information. I don't know where we... Okay. I have no idea if we're going left or right. It's not telling me anything. Oh, now, now you tell me to go right just as we get on the point to go left. Oh, my God. <laughs> Did you see that? We, we got, like, on the point and it went, go right. <laughs> Give me some notice. Okay. Reverse, huh? It's a pity you can't set the points up ahead, though. Hungry squirrel. Railroads Online is a buggy mess right now, is it really? Maybe hold off for a bit, then. Horn button in the camp. It's not telling me what things are anymore. Why is it not telling me what stuff is?
That's that's not a bad horn. That's not a bad horn. I wish there was smoke billowing out. I can see like oh no, it's not. I can't even see any emissions. It's amazing. So it wants us to keep completely to the right by the look of it. I think. I sure don't know. It's not it's not very clear. Are we keeping left? We're keeping left, aren't we? I can see like a very faint orange thing. I take it we're going to park here, uncouple, and then drive the engine away somewhere. Uh, PJ Webb, thank you for 61 months. Hey, trotters. I guess anywhere here will do, but we might as well go further down. What happens if you uncouple now? Can't train us to be fully stopped. Denied. Ooh, what's this? That's cool. You select which car you want to uncouple, but it kind of makes it obvious. It tells you red or green in the directions. What do you mean? I was expecting it to allow us to carry on after that. In this tutorial, you'll learn how to deliver passengers from one station to another. Interesting looking train. Start by going to the nearest service center and adding some passenger wagons. Note that you also need a locomotive capable of transporting them as well as the proper game mode, which can be selected from any service center. However, this time you're already starting in the appropriate mode. Okay. Left or right highlights red or green. Okay, this tutorial, learn how to deliver passengers from one service station to another. Add passenger wagons. Adding wagons. How many are we adding? Passenger and postage transportation. Postage? Flipping it, the last time I had a train with passengers and postage, I think was Transport Tycoon. That was cool, that. You could put like six passenger cars and a couple of mail cars on the end. And if you did it quickly, you'd make loads of money. I'm not super, I'm not sure. Maybe next week. Passenger and post transportation formed. Uh, you can set it using the tablet, open with M and go to route planner. Passenger and post transportation is performed on a player defined route. How many? It doesn't tell us how many to add. How's that? Pass 
Passenger limit 300, post is limit 50. So, like, how do you remove one? <laughs> Delete wagon. Won't let me. <laughs> you need to add another local at the end. Do we? Age of Empires? Mm, probably not. It's put this up. I take it it just wants us to do this now. I was pressing M. It doesn't do anything. Right, now we just go to this. We are here. Maybe I shouldn't have turned around. Maybe we should have gone in there and then turned around. I don't know. So if we go from here... Wait, what? Okay, that's not going to work. Well, what if we go there and then there? There you go, that'll work. So there's literally two passenger stations. <laughs> and a service centre, and a service centre. Like, lots and lots of service centres. A forest and a sawmill, and two passengers. Is that it? Is that the whole map? Okay, well, we've set the route, I think. Open it in M and go to the root planet tab. Ah, uh, okay. Oh, I see. Oh, this is just a tutorial map. Thank God for that. <laughs> Select cities to plan your route. Um, here and here. Apply to GPS. Apply to GPS will remove all existing waypoints. We'll do that. Auto remove stations, reverse on completion. You says it route by stations on this map. Select the station will be aware of your route and take it to the timetables. If you want, you can also click apply to have this stored in your minimap. Select Tirol South. Oh, it wants me to do the other way. Right. Clear. See, I'm facing the wrong way now. This isn't going to work very well. <laughs> apply to GPS. Open the station communication with A. Contact the first station south and select services and passenger boarding. Okay. Well, first things first, let's turn around. Okay. Uh, south, services, passenger boarding. Enter the station, go to indicated track, and stop the train. Once you see a message, you can open the doors. Right. No idea which signal point we need. Middle-ish one by the look of it. Yeah, we don't have 12 wagons. I think we've got six packs and one mail, something like that. I guess, actually, people on the platform... Oh, hang on, there's a person. I was going to say, is that going to be a future update? It's not really moving. Right. 
anywhere here should do it. Right. Uh, doors. Secure the train with the emergency brake. Okay. Wait, the doors don't open. Boarding operation. You've not opened the doors. The doors don't animate. I feel robbed. Can't open the windows. Can't open the doors. How do we know when it's done? Have I done something wrong? There you go. Systems will remain blocked. Closing doors. I guess that's a future update. Some trains have two locomotives or reverse facing cabins so they can drive in both directions. Press switch cabin button inside the train cabin or from the radio menu, change between front and back locomotives. Okay. Front and back cabin. Axe. Release the brake. Alright, how quick can we get? I tell you what, the side view windows are terrible. If you want to see side, you've, you've got to like lean down to look out. Or maybe this is made for pups, I don't know. Yov Hato, thank you for 58 months. He was the test driver. Yeah, put the window about there. That's perfect, says Pups. What on earth is that? Have they got cushions? Giant sofas. <laughs> oh god, there's a big hill. Up and out, they like the steep incline. There were tennis courts. Inflatable tennis courts. I like that. Open comms. Select. Okay. Passenger th north services. Passengers boarding. It's weird how you have to call ahead. So it's done a lot of European lines. It's weird compared to US standard. Yeah, you'd think they'd be expecting you, you know? Like like we do with aircraft, you kind of file a flight plan. You'd think it'd be a bit like that.
It's a very quiet train. <laughs> Our trains are never on time, so they call when they arrive. Fair enough. I wonder how they do it in Japan, because Japan runs quite a tight ship, don't they? They have very, very punctual trains. I wonder if they call ahead. Or, like, whether it's the other way around, if the guy's more than five seconds over time or under time, they start calling him up. Where are you? Wait, we're meant to stop here. Surely it wasn't meant to stop at that blue thing. I'm not even sure what that blue thing was about. Yeah, Ali, they, they really are. They, they take pride in the work. Like, they're train drivers. If they're late, they apologize to the boss. It's crazy. Just a completely different culture. Cinematic pan mode. You gained 54 experience points and 3,684 euros. That's not bad. Easy money. Go to Korea. I think we've done the tutorials. Congratulations, engineer. You've completed your conductor's exam with flying colors, and you're not ready to take to the rails of Europe without me watching over your shoulder. Oh, good. Don't forget, you'll prefer the reprimand for driving slowly as opposed to hitting other vehicles or breaking any laws. When in doubt, relax and take your time. But you don't have to undertake such a large task alone. There are others like you, all looking to make a dent in the market and transport what they can. As your company and experience grows, you'll be able to hire some of them to work for you. Just like during your exam, the cities across Europe are constantly in need of all kinds of resources and goods. And more than that, there are thousands of people and parcels awaiting transportation between cities. If you and your employees help out enough, I've heard that cities give the more accommodating companies preferential treatment. Consider that a tip from a friend, but don't go repeating it, all right? I've seen a lot of students over the years but I've got to admit that you're graduating at an exciting time. Take chances, strategize your deliveries, and grow your empire into one of Europe's greatest railway transportation companies. He sounded American to me. Cologne Warehouse Entrance. Oh, hello. Holy smoke, you what? You what? Wow, okay. So, you know, I've, I've always said about, about Train Sim and Train Sim World, how they just give you a specific route between cities. And what I've always wanted is to just be connected, just connect the cities together. They've actually done that. You could create a passenger route and go from, like, Munich 
all the way up to Frankfurt and then <laughs> just keep going? That's just nuts. I didn't expect that. That's cool. Um, I, okay, so I guess we just, we've got a shunter. I think the game's quite cheap, actually. Wasn't it like $15 or something stupid? £13.39. Train some world is one to one though, then this is scaled. Do you know what the scale is, Ethan? Um Okay. I guess we've got to go somewhere useful to get some goods, right? Because we're just outside of Cologne Warehouse. Accepts a load of stuff and produces mail. How do we get our first contract then, do you think? Produces leaves? And bulls <laughs> accepts doesn't accept bulls or leaves. That accepts mail. You could take mail from here to here, I think. Yeah, I get that it's scaled, but what's the scale? So I guess like let's try and do a simple run. So this one seems to produce Mail, you see that on the right? So 50 mail. They've got 50 loose wagons, so I guess we could take some of them. And they accept mail. I think. Cologne has two contracts. How do you know that? It says zero. You can check the contract's farm. Oh, Cologne Farm. Services. Take. Contract. Four wagons to Hamburg Grain Mill, or two wagons to Frankfurt Food Process. And where's the grain mill? Oh, why did you go away? Oh, that's annoying. Four wagons to the Hamburg grain mill we can do. Which would be... Was Hamburg's all the way up here? Hamburg grain mill? Okay. <laughs> That's a long way. <laughs> Surely if you're going all that distance, you want to take more than four. There was one to Frankfurt. Frankfurt one's a lot nearer. Frankfurt, I might go here, actually. It's a lot simpler. Let's, let's, let's keep it simple on the first go. All right, let's do that. Uh, contracts. Two wagons from Frankfurt to Frankfurt Food Processing Plant. There we go. Take both. Can you do that? Actually, it's a very good question. Can you take more than one contract at a time? The further destination is the piggy, the payers. Hmm. Uh, Ryan588, thank you for 10 months. Dumbest, thank you for 52. The game has dynamic weather and day and night as well. Does it really? My question is, though, can you take more than one contract and do, like, multi-drops? Can you show what stations are north of Hamburg? I'm from that area and curious what stations are bottom. I'll have a look at the map in a sec. So nobody seems to know the answer to the multi-drop thing. That's all they've got. We've just got a bunch of stuff around Hamburg. Because if we went to Frankfurt, you could, in theory, carry on to Hamburg. In theory. I don't believe you can. All right, let me see what happens. Farm services take contract two wagons to Frankfurt.
Frankfurt, which is 246.312. Sneezy, sneezy. Kilometers away. You're supposed to be able to, but it's kind of buggy. Okay. Take automatically. Clown warehouse entrance. Okay, which must be dead ahead. Why is the engine completely silent? Two hundred Ks will take you four hours. No, it's scaled map, isn't it? You've been fined 500. Reason? What was the reason? That stayed up for like two seconds. What was the reason for the fine? Why? You didn't call into the station. What? I just took a contract. <laughs> Whoa. I just signed a contract with them. Why do I need to ask them permission to go in? Oh my god. Where are we going? The farm? Station access? Can I have access to a station area, please? Now wait, you're arriving, man. Proceed through the entry signals without stopping me. Free to use our facilities. Good grief. Right, where are we going? I'm guessing I have to go back there now. This is the warehouse, not the farm. Where's the farm then? There's the farm. Oh, I need to go round it, don't I? Alright, let's go back here. Do I need to... Uh, do I need to... Um, Ask permission from the warehouse if I'm going around it. Will they still find me? You do? Oh my god. So you've got to ask permission from every station. Not if you go around. Locking signal. This is this is going so well. <laughs> okay. So starting here. What do I need to do at this point? Do I need to ask permit? Because I want to go to the farm, don't I? I want to go here. And I somehow have to go around it, either that way or that way. Do we need to go all the way back there, do you reckon, and get on that track? Crikey. Wow, that's some very uniform driving down there. You have to use a radio communication prior to entering the station. I know. I know, game. I'm not trying to enter. The blue bits are the entrance you need to request before that. Gotcha. Right, so if we go, like, here... Cologne Warehouse Services, Station Access. So I've requested access, even though I probably don't need to. That should let me go around. 
Can I upgrade my locomotive? I have no idea, bro. No idea. I don't know how many are in the game. Cool, you've got the the uh, cathedral and the tower and stuff. I've been in that tower. <laughs> no, we're going to the farm. We're going around this. I've already been fined 500 flipping euros. <laughs> 